Hello. Hello, hello. Sometimes I can hear the, um, hello? Uh, what is her name? Adele. Um, so when I say hello, and there's that little echoing of hello. Part of that is my room in this space. Um, but part of that is also just that a reverb in my own mind. It's um, a very dreamy, wintry day here in Louisville, Kentucky, which is where I am coming to you from. Um, in my little slice of the earth, I just spent a little time gazing out the window and really just tapping into the energy that flows in, which is just uh, that quiet, that calm, that peace um, that usually gets robbed with two young children at home. But that play of innocence in the background of navigating, of you know, playing with icicles or asking for food or whatever it may be, and that dynamic is life that dynamic of the multitude of energies coming together to create the magical and mystical experience of our lives. Um, as I record this, we're also in that like, uh, a lot of different people I've been communicating with are at the edge, at the end of um, feeling exhausted by the hurdles we face and wondering how we can come through when we're this depleted. So in watching that snow fall, there's that reminder that there's something much grander in our lives and tapping into that is really important. If you notice, we're in this energetic signature of earth and water. It is a bit, um, uh, it's that water that's frozen, that's light and dances though. So Pisces is that energy of being more dreamy and more magical behind the scenes and that true sense of spirituality. It's uh, that ability to get into more of the mystical um, and being able, being okay with being a homebody. So I'm glad you're home for a little while, Perry. And so we have this energy of water and that for me, I can't not go into the symbolism of Pisces. It also reminds me a little bit of the um, poetic goddess uh, Saraswati and bringing forward that beauty through the creation of art because that is also the gift of Pisces energy. But we have it in a sweet alignment with the earth, signature of earth that's a little more solid and fixed and reluctant to change. So we're gonna get into the side bodies today. Um, we'll be in the hips and in that ability to be more fluid with our mind and a slower movement if you have a special request or need or area, as always, uh, let me know. And giving ourselves permission to create the structure and the enjoyment. Hi, Diane. Um, create the structure and the enjoyment from the pleasure of our dreams is really the nutshell that we're in and how to assimilate all that energy, right? Um, if I was gonna be a very yogic teacher right now, we'd wanna be in that Toria state of that place of where are we creating, what are we sustaining, what are we allowing to dissolve so it can assimilate. It's really like the Shavasana. So we'll make sure we have Shavasana. Um, and in that ability of the melting pot, where it all comes together, so as, yeah, because the so as ties us all together, right? Oh, hi, Julie. I'm so glad you guys are here and present. And um, so 
Let's do it. We are gonna start standing and um, just to feel the midline and the psoas, if you don't know what the psoas are, they're the ruler of the house, of your house, really kind of the place that we assimilate, how we survive, how it's the muscle that talks to the amygdala of our brain, the emotional response system. Um, it's actually the way we react to the stress and the crisis and the chaos of our life. So I also believe that we have one side that is underdeveloped and one side that is overdeveloped or one side that's way more mobile or way more um, dense. And so we feel that duality inside of ourselves, but we wanna come into that plane of how to integrate the two sides, the paradox, how to assimilate, all right? Hi, Sarah. And so in that assimilation, we can drop into our energy and our structure to feel a sense of security, even though we may be completely exhausted or um, surrendering over and over again to a slower pace and being exhausted by that slower pace, right? So we'll be in the psoas, but the psoas connects each part of our spine, starting from our T12, the bottom of our thoracic, with each lumbar, right, the sacral region, to, hi, Pat, um, to the sacral region, the lower back, the creative energy in ourselves, the place, the womb of our uh, feminine essence, and, um, and then grounds us into the earth. So that's really the physiological connection to this water and earth energy that we'll draw into. Okay, but we're gonna start standing because, because. So let's do it. Um, and if you are in, all those that are watching live, you guys are in Louisville, um, that you can give yourself a little time to meditate on the, the falling snow, the gravitational pull of the frozen water that is light and delicate. Um, some people are getting ice, so thank goodness we're getting snow. I encourage you to stand with your feet a little wide. I'll start facing you guys, how about that? With your feet a little wide, your hands resting on your heart center. You can even let your feet turn out. Um, watch the hips thrusting forward. And just for clarity's sake, we're gonna really be in this area today. Um, not so much where we go super, super deep, that's the um, Virgo full moon moment, but where we can really feel just this wrapping. So if you, let's do this. Let's feel, because that's, Taurus loves to feel, that earth energy likes to feel the material experience, and that's what we have, the gross body and subtle body today. So feeling this part of ourselves, let's take your hands to the back of your rib cage and then wrap around towards the front. You can even think of your obliques here, if you think of a surfer or a swimmer, and they, especially a male swimmer or surfer, <laughs> that you feel these strong uh, connections. Those are your obliques, so we wanna go even deeper. That's why the psoas and Pisces energy go together. Um, and then bring your hands, one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart as we start. Allow the eyes to close, your feet are slightly wide, your knees are slightly bent. Um, feel the connection to your breath, the connection to the weather, the actual weather, that determines how we dress and the seasons in which we're in, as well as the cosmic celestial energy that's with us, because it always is. We're part of something bigger that is just miraculous and mystical. And that inner world, the macro and the micro, the inner world of you is in that energy as well the seen and the unseen, the inhale as well as the exhale. And so we'll start with those four breaths of just creating this moment in our physical being with gratitude, appreciation, and acknowledgement. And then we'll invite in our highest self, the unseen, 
to that which there is none higher that we are a part of. And exhaling out, coming into the depth of the creation that dissolves and assimilates within ourselves and the heart. And holding space for that vision to come to life and the aesthetic and the expressive nature of our own creative self. You're going to allow your head to bow and bring both hands to rest on your heart. Allowing that emotional expression because you are in charge of you. You hold agency of your inner world. So choose mindfully and just feel yourself swaying from side to side on your feet. Let your knees bend. Let your hips sway. Let go of any rigidity, but feel your connection to the earth. And just get into a little bit more of that cosmic and that dreamy. I just need you guys to know that it's Pisces season when you see that little drop of water. And I have been looking through the filter of my progressed moon is in Pisces. It's been there for a year, so here we go. This is our little sort of like uh, the heavy side of Teresa Feynman comes forward. <laughs> but feel yourself swaying. Feel that organic energy within you coming alive. And then you're going to keep the eyes closed. Bend your knees, sway, and fold down towards the earth. And let your hips continue to sway. Let your head sway. Allow yourself to move from side to side. And since I'm turning to the long edge of the mat, if you're not, go ahead and turn to the long edge of your mat. And you're going to open your eyes looking to the earth and just kind of go from side to side, shifting your feet wide. So we're going to go into wide-legged forward bend to start. And just bending your knees. You see uh, athletes do this all the time, but I don't want you to be in the aggressive nature of getting motivated to win the game, but rather being more motivated to go inward and experience and assimilate all the parts of you including the parts that are exhausted, that need to move slow, that are stiff and tight, and then slowly come back to the center. See that your feet are turned in. Bring your hands to your ankles. Bend your knees. Feel the feet on the earth. And then squeeze your calves. All right, so we're going to feel a little of that solidity. You're going to bring your hands to the inside of your inner thighs so you can feel your inner thighs, your hamstrings. Move it around to the back. And then bring your hands here to your low back and just feel that energy from the sacrum moving out and widening apart. So we're not going for a big, intense stretch right now, but we are letting the brain get oxygenated and so we get out of that thinking mind and more into that feeling mind. And then come back, hands all the way back down to the earth. Lengthen the spine, walk your hands forward like you're in a downward dog. Soften the area in the shoulders, relax the neck and jaw. Bend the knees, turn the right foot out, bring your right elbow to your thigh, left hand by your hip, and you're going to inhale the arm up, you're going to circle it around, and then circle the arm down, stay strong into your core. Inhale the arm up, circle it around, and just feel the breath, right? Feel the fluidity, right, that we're not frozen, thank God. Or maybe your shoulders are freezing up on you like mine are. And then moving and breathing and exploring. And then we're going to circle the arm down, come through the center, and then turn the left foot up. Make sure your right foot turns in, bend the knee, elbow to the thigh. So bend the knees if you need to ground, make the connection, the drawing in. Sweep the hand, you're going to inhale the arm up, and it's going to circle down, right? Uh, when I first learned this, they talked about it being like the Elvis move. Um, my mother-in-law had two encounters with Elvis. Oh, shit, my phone's going to die. And um, has two of his scarves. So get into that, just that little dreamy nature, right? That audience of cheering on, being so enamored with the expression and feel that within yourself. Exhale, circle the arm down, pivot and bow. 
Relax the neck and jaw. Inhale, five length. Open the heart. Exhale, bow down. You're going to inhale, five length again. Walk your hands forward. Bend your knees and heel toe the feet together. Okay? Just heel toe the feet together. Bend the knees. Relax the neck and jaw. Roll the spine up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Big full breath in. Circle the arms around and up. Find length through the spine. Exhale over to the right. So stay strong in your core. I just realized I didn't charge my phone, so I gotta fix it. Stay strong through your core. Find that length opening up. And then inhale up through the center. Bend your elbow so you feel the midline. Draw into that center. And then inhale, lift up and reach over to the left side. Stay really long through this side body. Inhale through the center, hands are together. Just bend your knees, shoulders drawn to your back. Feel that big line through the center. Inhale up, exhale over. Go to each side, while I plug in my phone. Go to each side um, for a total of five, all right? I probably would make it, but I don't feel like taking the chance. And so as you're moving from side to side, yeah, I know, I just disappeared. Watch out, that's gonna wobble a bit. And I hope I have that out right here. Um, technical difficulties. Mercury goes direct soon. Shit, does not work. Isn't that fun? Um, okay, so once you come all the way back through the center, these are where my skills come into true effect. Uh, once you come all the way back to the center, you're gonna bring your hands to your heart and stand. Stand with your breath. Wait, Lana, are you still in Florida? If so, you are not watching the snowfall. You're stuck because of the snowfall. At least that's what I've gathered on social media. Okay, guys, say a prayer that my doesn't my whole setup doesn't fall over. And just breathe into that. Well done, everybody. Teamwork. This is like true Pisces spirit that we can make it work even though we're not connected. That's the idea. So breathe into that essence of you. Bring the hands to where they need to be. Feel the connection. And then because I'm in that dreamy sort of uh, mystic land, Imagine all the people that you have practiced with before. So many of us have stood in the same space together. Connect to that invisible string that weaves all of our hearts. That as we journey through this time to assimilate all that's happened in the past year, when it's time to step forward with the great fire of our heart, our faith, our warrior nature. We can stand in that strength. But for now, we breathe into the depth of our being. As you exhale, bend the knees. Hand to the hips, fold all the way forward again. Touch the hands to the earth. Inhale, find length through the spine and heel toe the feet wide. So bend the knees as you heel toe. Get low. Yes, I'm doing uh, Skandhanyasana. You're going to pick up. You're going to lean to the right. Pick up your left foot and just lunge, lengthen the spine. Inhale up through the center. Hinge over to the right, picking up the left foot. Keep the heel on the ground though, okay? So only go as far as you can. Inhale through the center. Bend the knee. Inhale through the center. Bend the knee. And go to each side. One more time. And then come back through the center. Turn the feet in and bow. Wide-legged forward bend. Feel that length through the spine, open through the heart. Bow in to your expression that serves you. And then inhale, find length. We're gonna pivot. Turn the left foot out. Left elbow to the left thigh. Bend both knees so the thighs root back. You get the inseams of the legs going. And you make that connection, not just to your core, but all the way up the sides of the body to the base of the heart. Stretch the arm wide. Push the feet into the ground. 
Feel that solid, secure opening of your inner self coming forward, and then inhale, rise all the way up. Arms sweep up high, lift up, reverse, warrior two. As you lunge into reverse warrior two, reach the right arm out, kick the arm towards the earth. You can be a little bit of a diva with your hands by your forehead. Lean back, open the heart, big deep breath in, and then exhale. You're gonna cartwheel the hands all the way to the earth, lift up, and come into this diva leg side plank. So you're on the right hand, right pinky toe side of the foot, knees are bent, lift into the rib cage, keep the ribs strong in, so feel that line, stretch the arm by your ear, full breath in, full breath out, and now we're gonna exhale the left knee to the ground. Pivot the right heel to the floor, right hand comes up, and you come back into this side line. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Lift the arm up, bend the knee. Grab hold of the foot, draw in, get into the core, shoulders to the back, open the heart fully. And as you breathe, breathe into the dream of your heart and the potentiality that you contain and let the breath help you see through the fog and the newness that you'll be able to land. As you exhale, you're gonna free your foot all the way to the earth, spin all the way up and back, left leg's gonna lift, bend the knee, open the hip up. And then inhale, square it off. Foot comes to the earth. Inhale, um, right knee to the ground. We're gonna take it in reverse. Pivot the right heel. Sorry, pivot the left heel. Bend the knee. Okay, so here you are. Draw them to the core, shoulders to the back. Stretch the arm by your ear. Mm, big full breath in. Big full breath out. You're gonna inhale the left leg, knee bends, hand to the foot, shoulders to the back, open the heart. As you exhale, set the foot free. Bring it all the way down to the earth. You're gonna place the left hand and lift through the left thigh and you're gonna pivot all the way over. So you're coming into that side plank. Left hand is grounded, left foot's on the earth. You're getting into the hips because this actually clears. Lift into the rib cage, draw into that container of you. Ribs are in, arm stretches by your ear. Full breath in, be the diva you are. And then spin it up, right leg goes up, open the hip to the sky, full breath in, and then exhale. Step the foot through to the lunge, pivot the back heel to the earth. Again, if you need to get low and deep to ground, go for it, elbow to the thigh, arm by your ear. Again, make this connection through this part of your being. Draw into the core. Shoulders come into the back body. Feel the length, stretch the arm by your ear. Mm -hmm. Allow for the pose to be the offering, to be the expression of your innermost self, not perfection, not following the rules, but assimilating all that you know and all that you are so that you can become even more. Inhale the arms up. Interlace the fingers, lift up through the side. You're gonna reach back. The left arm's kicking in towards the earth, so we feel that muscularization. The sides of the body are long, and we're just that total diva. Big breath in, full breath out. And then inhale, come all the way up through the center. Hand to the earth, move it back down our dog. Inhale forward into a plank pose, knees to the ground. Let the elbows bend, pelvis melt. So you come into cobra pose. Deep breath in and then bow all the way to the earth. Once you come all the way to the earth, hands sweep back, 
Feet sweep back, circle the wrists, circle the ankles. Bend both knees, hands for the feet. Inhale, rise up. And two, Dhanurasana. Full breath in. And then exhale, free the hands, free the feet. Into Shalabhasana. Hands come to the earth, feet anchor down. If you're gonna go upward dog, slide the fingertips back, shoulders to the back. Otherwise, go cobra. There's not one better than the other. Rise up, move back, downward dog. Big deep breath in, and a big deep breath out. So move from your core. Feel all that energy wrapping from the back body. The back body is inflated. You're drawing into that navel, and you're letting yourself sway. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sway the hips all the way over to the right. Knees are gonna bend. We're just getting into the psoas, the depth of the left side line. Inhale up through the center. Bend both knees. Hips reach over to the left. Waking up into that right side line. Inhale, come all the way back to the center. Forward into a plank, knees to the earth, feet point back. So it's a reverse chaturanga. Lift through the core, elbows bend, hips settle, shoulders drawn to the back, heart sweeps forward. Lifting up, exhale all the way to the earth. Hands reach back, pick the hands and the feet up. Circle the wrists, bend the knees, grab the feet, inhale, Dhanurasana, full breath in. Free the feet, exhale out into Shalabhasana, feel the inner thighs, into the core, opening the heart, feet ground, hands anchor, cobra or upper dog, and then rise up and back, Adhanukha Svanasana. This time you're going to roll over to the right. You can just pause there and get the side body stretcher. Come into Vasi Sasana. Big full breath in. And then exhale. Bend the knees. Lean to the left. Maybe you're just doing that side dog. Maybe you go all the way over into side plank. Exhale the hands. But now we're going to go each side two more times. Reaching. Lifting. Opening. Feeling the connection to your breath. Let the song of your soul come forward as we assimilate the movement with the breath. Yes, we're in much more flow, and I said we would be more steady. Woo. But hey, here we are. Exhale it back, downward dog. Inhale, plank, knees. So you're lifting the core up. You're not letting the tail lead. You're lifting into the core, inner thighs are lifting, elbows bend, so the heart's melting down, and then you redirect to rise, exhale down to the earth, hands sweep back, feet sweep back, inhale, Shalabhasana, knees bend, find the feet, Dhanurasana, and then exhale out into Shalabhasana, and then melt all the way, into the earth. Feel your breath, your heart, your being, and allow for the assimilation. Breathe deep into the belly. And then we're going to roll all the way over onto our back. And as you roll over, come lying onto your back. You're going to bring your knees into your chest, head on the earth. Let the feet be relaxed and just a hug, but not like so intense where you squeeze the 
juice and the essence out of yourself, but rather just that ability to nourish, to saturate, to honor. And then you're going to just keep your left knee bent, hold on to it, bend your right knee, hold on to the foot, draw the knee like it's a half happy baby, and then stretch the right foot out long. You can open the left knee out to, so you don't tilt over. Big deep breath in, shoulders to the back, draw into that core. And then exhale, bend the knee. Bring both hands to the knees. Bring the knees back together. And again, just nourish, rock from side to side. And then we're going to switch. Hold on to the right knee. Left knee opens. You're going to hold on to the pinky toe side of the foot. Allow the right knee to widen as much as you need to. Reconnect to the core, the sacrum, your inner thighs, your pubic bone, your tailbone. And then feel that line of energy, right? The rib cage is down. And you feel that line of energy extending out through that left foot. And then bring the foot back together. Bring the knees back together and rock from side to side. We're gonna massage the low back. So you're gonna make circles with your knees. And then circle your knees in the opposite direction. Come back through the center. Uh, bring the right foot to the earth, left ankle to the side. Keep pulling the waistline back as your knees roll to the left. Draw the ribs in, arms go wide. Breathe all the way in. No surprises here, other than the fact that you're going to be surprised. All you discover living within you. Inhale through the center. Right foot lifts up. You can move from side to side. Clear the back. Right? So we've had moments of movement and more flow and moments of more steadiness. Bring the right foot back down to the earth. Move into the back body again. Just think of those psoas connecting from the base of your rib cage through that center, attaching to your leg bones. Stimulate the rib cage to the left side so you really feel filling up in this whole left side line. The left foot may come to the floor, it may not. We're not pushing the right knee down, we're just getting this outer line deeper into the obliques and into the psoas. Breathing fully into the back body. You can even bring your right hand into that rib cage if you want. And then as you exhale, exhale out completely. Draw into the core. Inhale the knees back to the center. You're going to stretch the left leg up. You're going to make, really try not to move the pelvis at all. So use your glutes, use your core. Three circles with the left foot. And then three circles with the right foot. And then you're going to bring the left leg in. Just hold on to the calf or maybe even the hamstring. You're going to flex your foot. So we just really get into this line right, of being bound and stuck. Not just because of a pandemic, but because of weather. <sighs> and then exhale. You're going to free your foot. Bring the knee to the ground. Right ankle comes to the left thigh. So you're going to draw into those ribs. Knees roll over to the right. Ribs are drawing in. Arm bones are drawing in. Gaze can turn to the left. 
but keep, we just did this a second ago. So we woke this area up, now we can utilize it. So believe it or not, when we're foggy or fuzzy, energy can't move. Come back through the center, draw into the core. We're just gonna roll all the way over. Oh, we did this first, right? I can't remember. Inhale through the center, pick the left foot up. You can move from side to side or just be really steady and still. How often do you give yourself time to assimilate? Left foot comes to the earth, ribs draw in. We're usually always rushing to the next best thing or the next thing we think we need to take charge of and be in control of. Knees are gonna roll over to, oh, this is hard for me, over to the left. So slowing down, allowing for the assimilation, like, you know, if you're gonna eat, you wanna savor, you wanna taste. You wanna find the pleasure in the moment and be present for it and to connect to the resonance, the connection to your soul. So when we breathe here, breathe all the way into this right side. Feel that outer hips wrapping, the core is drawing in, the shoulders are drawing in. You can even turn the head. We wanna be able to marinate. So there's momentum, but the momentum is a little more like moving through molasses. Inhale, come back through the center. Holy cow. Once you come back through the center, um, right leg's gonna lift. So you wanna feel that core engage. Three circles without this point, your rib points and your hip points. Don't let them move around. And then those three circles in the other direction. And come back through the center. You're gonna gently, right, no force here. You're gonna tune in to what's happening in the body as the foot comes in. And then you're gonna let your hands find the leg where it's most supportive and you're gonna flex the foot. You can even spread through your toes. So we get a real big wake up in that leg. I'm gonna come back through to the center, bend the knee, foot comes down to the earth. Arms are by your sides, shoulders are drawing into the back, inhale into bridge pose, throat's open, feet are grounded, hug the legs in towards the center. As you find that connection, feel that opening in the heart, opening in the throat. If you want to go into wheel pose, go for it. I have no way I'm going to. Breathing into the fullness, into the sides of the body. If you went to wheel pose, slowly come back to bridge pose. Be aware of how things are ending. Because for us, we're at that midpoint of winter in the Northern Hemisphere. This is live, this is, I'm recording this. The Southern Hemisphere is in the midpoint of summer. Curl the tail up, draw the belly in. We're gonna go vertebrae by vertebrae, down into the ground, feeling that mid part of our being. And as we come down, feel the articulation through the low back, and then let the tailbone get heavy, arch the back. Arms are gonna go out from your shoulders like a T. Exhale the knees over to the right. We're gonna get back into that fluid space. Inhale the knees through the center. Exhale to the left. Keep the shoulder blades heavy, ribs heavy. Go to each side two more times. Using your core, come back through the center. Knees come to the armpits. Give yourself a gentle hop, hold on to the ankles. Move the head from side to side, wiggle the feet out. And then you're gonna make a choice here. 
okay? You're gonna bring the knees together. You can go um, and just have both legs up. You can also come seated and do a seated forward bend. Otherwise, your knees are gonna come in. Your feet are gonna go behind the head into plow pose. Throws open. Feel the connection to the back body. And then what we're gonna do is use the core, connect to the midline, bend the knees as much as you need to, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way to the ground. Feet come to the earth. So if you're gonna go, if you came up seated into, I'll show them. If you come up seated, you're gonna find this ability to find this leg, draw into the center, bow, breathe into it, and then you're gonna use your core, pull into the back body. You're gonna inhale all the way up, arms sweep up, and then you're gonna fold over, okay? So you could do that one five times or you can enjoy me for this one. You roll back, hands to your low back, throat's open, lots of work, and then you're using the hands to help support you. Using the core, head stays on the floor, vertebrae by vertebrae, into the earth, and then you just inhale the hips up, and exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, down to the ground. All right, so choose the one that's of service for you. Feel the strength, the connection, your breath and how it is serving you to move in this way. You can change your mind. We're not here to be aggressive. We're actually here to awaken the deeper energy of ourselves. So you have to use the energy of your experience. Oh, I'm getting weaker each one I do. And how to assimilate and what's really going to be most supportive for you. What's going to really help you marinate. Last round, wherever you are, maybe you made up your own flow. Where do you think this stuff comes from? It's not written in a textbook. There's just guidance, right? There's no absolutes in yoga. And then once you come into that final forward bend, you're going to roll your spine, come up vertebrae by vertebrae. If you're on the ground, you're gonna bring your knees into your chest, roll to one side, or rock up seated, and then we're gonna to turn to the long edge of the mat. Ha, huh. and once we turn, that's funny. Oh, that's right. Once we turn to the long edge of the mat, I had to rearrange things, didn't I, so I can plug in. Uh, we want to turn to that long edge with our legs wide, okay? And as our legs are wide, we're going to find the hips grounded, the spine long, the connection to the core. And we're going to actually, if you need to bring the soles of the feet together, if um, Baddha Konasana is more supportive for you, great. I ain't even going to pretend like it's good for me. So you're gonna feel really connected, okay? Feel that inseams of the legs moving down as well as the out seams, okay? Use the core, hands are gonna to come to your ribs and you're gonna make little tiny circles. Really, really tiny. So think of everything pulling in towards your navel and you're like swirling the low belly. I feel it in my inner thighs but the work is all core right now. It's really the psoas moving. And you're gonna move it in the opposite direction. We're just swirling our bellies. You might find it's dark <laughs> inside there or it's not connecting and that's okay. Right, just moving around. There's actually a breath in yoga, pranayama practice, where you, um, Pump the stomach and ripple it, but we're not doing that, okay? Left leg is gonna come in. Left foot comes in. Lean forward to ground that leg down. Once that leg is grounded, I'm not pushing on my knee. I'm leaning towards the right edge of my pubic bone. Draw into the center. Right elbow comes to the thigh. We're not going into a big, deep expression. Rib lifts up, so feel this connection. We don't wanna expand this side and demolish this side. We want to actually feel this side is helping to illuminate how we're holding ourselves. So get the ribcage to lift up. 
Feel that connection into the shoulder. Both hips anchor towards the ground. Throw open and stretch the arm by your ear. It's a very uh, powerful connection to this side by staying lifted here. We're not trying to drop. We're not trying to get into a deep, deep expression here. We're feeling the connection to the core, the strength, so we can breathe more deeply into the depth of our being. Full breath in and a full breath out. You're going to circle the arm down, rise up, lean over to that left foot, bend the left knee. Lift up through this whole side, ribs draw in, and you're twisting from that core. Remember that little circle we did? Twisting, coming all the way over to your forearms. Lift through the belly, soften through the heart. Now, the left side's going to shorten. You can't see it on me. The left side's going to shorten, so you've got to draw up. You may even have to roll the outer hip down towards your tail to get the length. lift up, lean over. Okay, so I'm standing on my left foot. We're not going to do anything crazy and intense. Leaning over and just lean towards the right. Okay, it's a little bit of a forward bend. I know it's not really a yoga pose. It's just to clear the back. And then inhale, come up through the center. Now we're oriented more towards that right foot. Find both sit bones. So you want to lean forward so you can fill up into this back, feel the connection and find the length. And as you fold, fold forward, so the ribs are drawn forward. You can bring your right hand and put your fingers in between your toes and then your left hand can rest on top and bow. Fold into the energy of you to just assimilate. As you exhale, exhale up completely, find length through the spine, and now come all the way up. You're going to free your left leg out, so you come back to the center, hands by your sides, so the inseams of the legs are moving down, the outseams of the legs are moving down. Feel the connection to this core again, so you want to make sure you're not tipping all the way forward to your pubic bone or all the way back. You feel that ability to move in your pelvis and then feeling this energy here, right? It's really like that diamond of your core. And we're just going to move three little circles. You could even feel that you're moving and you're getting a slight massage of the pelvic floor, which is important. You feel a lift in the pelvic floor as well. And then move it in the other direction. So you're really just moving from the core, swirling the belly around. So if we're taking root of our heart through our um, intuitive self to get into our, I guess our instinctual self to get into our intu intuitive self, right? We're moving through the viscera. And then come back through the center, bend the knee, foot comes to the thigh. Okay? Lean forward so you can get grounded, anchored, <coughs> to internally rotate the legs and externally rotate. Find the length through the spine again. Draw into that core. As you find that length, you're going to let your elbow come down. Draw into that core. Engage. Feeling that lift through the sides of the body. 
And as you find that lift through the sides of the body, there's a huge engagement. So you're feeling the ribs drop. You can even hold your ribs, you're here. You keep the engagement and then the arm just stretches. It's not about going for a fierce outer expression to make it look like the books or social media people tell us to, but to really center ourselves internally. And as we center ourselves internally, we feel a stronger connection to our own potential, what we want to give birth to, but we're really in the womb of creativity this whole next month. Hmm. Exhale out completely, use that core, feel that lift from the side, from that strength, from that length, then lean over, bend that left knee, draw the ribcage up, right? So we're not thrusting forward. We're making the connection to this little diamond shape of energy, drawing in, feeling that length, twisting, and then coming down to your forearms, finding the length. You might have to walk your elbows forward. The potency comes from allowing for the revelation, right? Allowing for that shift. Not that we forced, but that we give, gave ourselves permission to illuminate. And we gave ourselves permission to illuminate just by showing up. Exhale out completely. You're gonna walk your hands in, come all the way up, slide that left leg out, draw the right knee in, and you're just bringing the foot up. Um, you may or may not be able to stand on the foot. I'm leaning towards the left hand and then just folding in, getting into a grounding of this left thigh and a lengthening through the back line. You wanna make sure you're still plugging in, and drawing in. Again, we're not aggressive, we're receptive. Okay, so then the right knee comes down. We have to adjust our legs. So now we're a little bit at an angle, but we're turning more towards the left foot. The legs are grounded. The core is drawing in, there is length, and we bow. You may not get very far. Keep sweeping through the belly, through the core, waking up that whole back side. You can take your left fingers in between your toes. They might be cold like mine are, always are. And they're gonna draw into the belly and bow and breathe, but you're really breathing not into the frontal lobe, you guys, you're breathing into the bottom back part of your rib cage, right? So you're feeling the lift, you're drawing, and you're bowing. Exhale out completely, connect to the core, find the length, inhale, come all the way up. Turn towards the front edge of your mat now. We've moved all around. Once you've turned towards the front edge, you're gonna bend both knees. A year ago, I was in a full-on commitment of always doing a mandala of the mat, of moving in a circular, cyclical expression. And then everything changed. So here we are. Come back to that center. You're gonna bend both knees, okay? You're just gonna bring your arms under your legs, lean back onto your toes, okay? Get your arms under your knees, lean back. If you can't get the arms under the knees, you can bring them around front. You want to not be pulling your shoulders down, but drawing them in, drawing the ribs in, and then getting that length again from the sides of the body. We're going to inhale in, into the back body, and then exhale. 
drawing in, drawing in, drawing in, and then inhale in and pause, expand into the back. And then exhale out slowly. You could totally be doing this seated. But inhale in naturally, just let it assimilate. Inhale in at the top of the inhale, pause. Draw the ribs in, breathe more into the back of your rib cage. And then exhale out slowly. One last time, breathing in, breathing out, exhale all the way out, inhale in, pause at the top of the inhale, breathing into the back of your ribs, and then exhaling out slowly. Slowly return your feet to the ground. Release your hands, bring your hips forward. You're gonna come lying down. Take your knees with you. Vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down. Let the head come to the earth. Roll your head from side to side. Let the jaw relax. Let the feet relax. Bring the hands to your ankles or happy baby pose. And then enjoy your breath. Bring your feet to the earth. Walk your legs out long. So Shavasana is the part that everybody tends to skip when they're doing yoga at home. <laughs> so holding space here for us. You can let one hand come to your belly, one hand to your heart for a moment to just breathe. You can also just let your arms be by your sides. Let the earth hold you and connect more to the fluidity of your inner self, of all the energy we cultivated, we created, the circulation, the blood flow, your fluids. And just allow yourself to be saturated in the nectar of the practice. Just as you are, enjoy the breath in. Enjoy the breath out. Just as you are, breathe into your own magnificence, your own reality that's internal. That your heart is beating you're able to bring your awareness back to breathe into this physical form to bring your spirit to life. Find little movements in the periphery, your toes, your fingers, your head. You 
going to bend both knees. Allow the feet to be on the ground. And just making that connection from the back base of your heart all the way through the inseams of your legs into the earth. Roll over to one side. Stay there for as long as you like. And then eventually you can come up seated, sitting well with yourself, bringing one hand to the belly, one hand to your heart, feeling that connection to your innermost self and your heart center, then allowing both hands to rest on the heart. That there's still this delay in our systems where we can continue to allow for the assimilation of our practice and of our life, of our journey, of this past year, of this past month, of this season, of the 18 years, 19 years, 20 years, wherever you are in that processing. But the assimilation is still always there. The integration is still palpable. But do we allow ourselves to be more fluid so we can allow ourselves to be expressive from a place of our own true essence? So I thank you and I honor you and I respect you. You showed up you chose this offering, but most importantly, you chose to reconnect to the wellspring of your own heart, of your own sacred essence, so that you can be more authentic and you can serve the light that's before you. So namaste. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. And, um, I will continue to dance in the seas of our soul this month. Uh, it's just um, what I get to do, and hopefully you'll join me into that deeper dive and understanding more of the behind the scenes energy of you so that you can be a reflection to all the light you see in the world. Uh, thank you for your comments, your offerings, your connection. We're still all starving for connection, so hopefully these practices just let you connect more to your essence and your energy so that those that you do get to engage with and interact with, you can connect to their light and their truth as well. So until the next time, I'm here live. I thank you. And um, 